There are many different relevant factors that influence our unique and changing needs. Here are just some of the things that can affect your individual exercise and nutrition needs and your results. Okay, so these are some factors you want to consider. Your age, your gender, your personal goal, you know, like each person has different requirements and protocols, um, and some can be conflicting. So you have to be clear on what your priority is. Like, is, is your number one thing you want to lose weight? Are you trying to perform better? Are you an athlete? Are you a marathon runner or on a team and wanting to get faster, stronger? Uh, do you want to just maintain your functional independence? Maybe you're a little bit older and you just want to be able to be independent in your older years and be able to drive and see well and get around on your own so you don't have to rely on others. Do you have aesthetic goals? You want to have better skin, less wrinkles, brighter eyes, shinier hair. Are you trying to balance your hormones? Maybe you have really bad PMS or you have really bad periods or you're bleeding a lot or you get just in really bad moods. You're kind of a moody person and you don't want to be and you can't figure out what the heck is wrong with me all the time. Or maybe you're dealing with mental health challenges. I know that my mental health is completely correlated to my diet and exercise program. Let me tell you something. If I don't get enough sleep, you don't want to be around me. I am an irritable person. I don't even like being around myself when I don't get enough sleep. I don't like who I am. I'm snappy. I'm more jumpy. I'm less patient. I'm, I'm scattered. I'm all over the place. I just can't focus. Okay. And the same thing goes for my diet. If I don't eat a good, solid quality meal, I am just a mess. I have no motivation to do anything, not even to record a show and be with you, which is one of my favorite things to do. Okay. So even things like trying to heal from an injury or a situation or an illness, these are all relevant factors as well as your activity level. Are you somebody that works out three or four times a week with some light dancing or yoga, or are you somebody that runs marathons or competes in a sport? Do you have any physical limitations like injuries or you know, muscle imbalances, joint problems? Are you suffering from cravings? Do you have time restrictions? Are you somebody that's like a young mom of two or you have a really demanding job and kids at home or maybe you're homeschooling now and you don't have help at home and so you're doing the second shift, doing all the housework. So you have a really limited time to do anything for yourself. Or if maybe you lack motivation or you're not sleeping well. Okay, so these are all possible factors that we have to consider when we're talking about your biochemical individuality. Okay, so go back and rewind this or listen to the show again. Or if you're watching it on YouTube, on Fit Amy TV, just stop it. Go back, take a piece of paper and a pencil and write down those things so you can take note of all those individual factors that are super important when determining your exercise program and how to eat. Because if I was working with you personally, I'm going to tell you right now, these are things I'd be looking at. Okay. So all these factors will determine your protocol and ex can explain also why, for example, some people can eat more carbohydrates than others or why some people tend to put on muscle more easily. They are also why the world of nutrition, diets, and working out can be so confusing and so complicated because in truth, no two people are the same and all these factors must be taken into account for us to have success. So how do we do that? That is the question. Well, like I mentioned, you have to be a specialist in you. After acknowledging that you are unique, the next step is to be a specialist in you. This means you have to learn how to associate your feelings, like your moods, your thoughts, your energy levels, how tired you are, how motivated or unmotivated you are. If you're feeling anxious, hyper wired, but exhausted, any of your physical body needs and results like your weight, your muscle tone, any inflammation in your body, any injuries, how quickly you recover from injury for that matter, all these things. And we have to think about all these things and what you're doing. So your symptoms and your results are your body's way of communicating with you on how you're doing. It's basically what we call your report card. Okay. And like I mentioned earlier, it's not about genetics. It's about epigenetics. It's about your lifestyle and how your body is going to react. 
So all, all too often, we don't relate things like these factors to our eating and exercise habits. But if you want to be fit forever, then you really should.